Ukraine will receive 2,000 Humvee Army off-road vehicles from the USA. This is reported by Forbes. The transfer of equipment will take place within the framework of the military aid package from the US for $425 million, announced two weeks ago. Humvee SUVs will help fill gaps in Ukraine's positions at the front line. In addition, this way the armored forces will be able to advance more effectively towards the positions of the Russian occupiers. The publication emphasizes the Ukrainian military is already familiar with the Humvee, as Ukraine has more than 3,000 such SUVs in service. The Ukrainian victory plan depends only on the will of the partners, not on the will of Russia. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said this at a press conference. According to him, Western partners have recently been delaying even those arms deliveries that were promised earlier. The situation with the leak of information about Tomahawk missiles is completely wrong. When a lot of countries began to support victory plan, you see what's going on now in, in media. They said that Ukraine wants or wanted a lot of missiles like Tamagovsk and etc. And uh, the, but it was confidential information between Ukraine and White House. How to understand these messages? So it means between partners, there is no any confidential things. Two people died as a result of shelling by the Russians in Kharkiv. More than 30 were injured. This was reported by the local prosecutor's office. The enemy hit the residential building with a FAB 500 high-explosive aerial bomb. As a result, three floors of the building collapsed. The search operation lasted all night. People were pulled out from under the rubble. The prosecutor's office reported the death of a 12-year-old boy at night. Later, the second dead was found. He was 15 years old. He lived on the first floor with his grandparents. They were in another room at the time of the strike and he was in the very room where six floors collapsed. Rescuers can now see the boy's body, but there are very heavy slaps on it. The question of how to unblock it without damaging the body is being solved. Dmitro Chubenko, spokesman of the Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor's Office, in a comment of Radio Liberty. <laughs> Defense Minister of Ukraine Rustem Umerov, after a meeting with his Norwegian counterpart Bjorn Arild Graham, announced Norway's readiness to allocate more than 118 million US dollars for the purchase of weapon systems and spare parts for Ukrainian F-16s. The day before, Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Har Store announced that his country will allocate 500 million dollars for the expansion of air defense systems in Ukraine. In particular, Together with other countries, Norway provides funding that will allow Romania to send the Patriot air defense system to Ukraine. <laughs> 